In fact, the new 2020 to Mercedes-Benz C300 is a very excellent vehicle. It looks opulent, drives luxuriously, and feels nice to be inside. However, it has a few asterisks that prevent it from being a true home run. Twenty twenty to Mercedes Benz C three hundred for Matic review specs. Base price as tested forty six thousand six hundred dollars fifty five thousand two hundred dollars. Powertrain. 2.0-liter turbocharged four cylinder with 48 volt mile hybrid 9 speed automatic all wheel drive horsepower 255 at 5800 revolutions per minute additional 27 horsepower on overboost torque 295 pounds feet at 2000 to 3200 revolutions per minute curb weight 3,957 pounds. Seating capacity, five. Cargo volume, 17.9 cubic feet. EPA fuel economy, 23 MPG city, 33 highway, 27 combined. Quick take, a really beautiful luxury vehicle that is enjoyable to drive in, has a comfortable and inviting interior. Only a wonky brake pedal and annoying touch controls detract from it. Controversially, four cylinder engines will now power the whole C class lineup. Of course, the electrified, more potent AMG versions are on the way, but for the time being, the only C model offered is the C300. With a 48 volt mild hybrid system, a 2.0 dash liter turbocharged engine produces 255 horsepower and 295 pounds FT of torque. For 30 second periods, an overboost function adds 27 more ponies. Although this tester featured the optional for Matic All, wheel drive, a rear, drive base model is also available. Mercedes claims that regardless of the driven wheels, the C300 will reach 60 miles per hour in a reasonable 5.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The new C Class is simply a pleasant vehicle to drive since it is cozy, supportive, and composed. The brake pedal on the C300 is another very significant drivability problem. However, there is cause to believe that the tester's weird brake pedal may be a bug. Even a casual look at previous C300 reviews may not turn up glowing assessments of the brake system. The overall comfort, the craftsmanship, and the design are all very commendable and deserving of the badge. Of course, a large portion of this interior is taken from the current Generation S class and it gains a few little details from that class of vehicle that help it stand out. For instance, pressure-sensitive switches are used in touch, sensitive seat adjustment systems, the seats move more quickly as you apply more pressure. For extra fine adjustments, lightly tap. The windows softly close as well. The mild hybrid technology in this automobile is designed mostly to smooth out the auto start stop system, which it achieves brilliantly. However, it won't allow the car to travel far on electricity alone. The AWD C300's EPA ratings of 23 city, 33 highway, and 27 combined MTG indicate that it consumes somewhat more fuel overall than its BMW and Audi competitors.
The new C300 in its current iteration is a little annoying despite being priced fairly in comparison to other vehicles. It's a beautifully opulent entry, luxury runabout, but for the awful touch controls and perhaps wonky brake pedal. It mixes five star interior accoutrements with a beautifully restrained outward design, handles nicely, and is punchy enough to make the next AMG variants appear as exercises in electrified excess. The left pedal and controls aren't quite as awful as to be a deal breaker, though. New C30 in its current iteration is a little annoying despite being priced fairly in comparison to other vehicles. Fix those two things in the C class would be an easy recommendation. And really, they can be fixed 